Christ is available at InfoWarsShop.com, and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese when you visit InfoWarsHealth.com. Be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Coast to coast. Direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. So we have even right there. What's his name? is a war. It's happening now. It will decide the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. Thank you for joining us. Two segments left. We're about to go right back to your phone calls. I remember a few weeks ago, the governor of New York, Cuomo, came out and said, quote, if you're, you know, pro-life or into guns, you're not welcome. Uh, in New York State. That is what you hear in a fascist country. And then Clarence Thomas came out this week and said society is overly sensitive about race. And he said in the 60s when he was going to college in Georgia that he didn't see one-tenth as much race baiting and race obsession that he does now. That's what my dad says. Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up in Dallas, Texas and went deer hunting, you name it, with good old boys. I never heard anything. Now, since the rise of MSNBC and all the rest of it, every white person is a devil. I mean, well, go ahead. Obama, black, as if people didn't know that when he did twice. I mean, that's, that's, 
that he, he keeps coming up with this stuff and they're using it as you one camp versus the other. We've seen this in one occupation after the other. It doesn't depends on what the groups are. It could be black versus white in another area. It could be Russians versus Ukrainians or whatever. But they always try to get different ethnic groups competing and fighting against each other. That yeah, and start over on that. It's always different. They took my cough button out because it was malfunctioning. And so I have to use the on-air, off-air thing for a cough button. And so I wonder why they were waving their hands every time I kept turning my mic off so I could cough. Oh. Start over. Well, I was just saying, it's amazing how... We were going to have the end of racism, and, and we did elect a black president twice. And yet now we hear that it's- That only nice, makes it worse. That every that his approval ratings are down because he, we discovered somehow that he's black. That's ridiculous. Well, he said, <laughs> he said, um, just a few weeks ago, he said, my approval rating's down because of racism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and the truth is, every day I see these type uh, of articles, and the papers don't even want to say it, but knock- that white boy out, arrest made after mob of teens, black teens, I should add, attacked disabled vet, beat him half to death and robbed him and videotaped it, just like they do in Austin every day. And the media covers it, but will never point out it's racial while they say racial things. Can you imagine if white people went out and found some black people and beat them up? It's a very effective control technique to, to put one group against another. And quite frankly, I think that's what they want to do in terms of bringing in blanket numbers of illegal immigrants. They know that they can divide and conquer the population. They can keep them separate, keep them distinct, and pit them against each other. That's what they want to do. Everything that Obama said he was going to do, he's done just the opposite. Sure, and then that's his job. See, or whether it's healing of the races. That's why they say the Tea Party's racist, so that nobody who's not white will ever go get into the Bill of Rights and Constitution. It's like... It's racist if you don't want a foreign bank to run the government and take all your money. Oh, we'll take all my money. It's racist if you think it's creepy that MSNBC says that your children belong to the state. I mean, I've seen them say I'm, quote, deeply racist on MSNBC. Mm -hmm. And then they don't show any clip of me saying something deeply racist. These are literal race pimps who know they're race pimps. And they constantly conflate the American Family Association, the Family Research Council, these mainline evangelical Christian groups. They constantly conflate them with the Ku Klux Klan. And they do that to me. Racist and hate it. Even and though the Klan and all the white supremacist groups, you go to their website, they hate me more than Netanyahu. Yeah. But the ADL and some probably Law Center don't care. They give awards to Soros, a real Nazi collaborator. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right, let's, let's, let's go to calls quick now. We're not going to say anything else, folks. We're going to take your calls. Freddie in North Dakota, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Go ahead. Uh, I was just uh, listening to you talk about <clears throat> that city that they're building up there, and uh, was just curious if you'd ever heard or, or knew of uh, Bill Cooper. Yes, uh, he was a UFO guy. Yeah, he covered a lot of that kind of stuff. Right, right. He, I was. Uh, he's from my hometown. I'm up in North Dakota now, so I can make my child support payments. But. Uh, he, he actually relocated right before he got killed uh, to Springerville, Arizona, and he pirated a radio station up on top of the hill. And he he talked a lot about the things that are just starting to that a lot of the, a lot of the stuff. Yeah, no, he he, he did talk a lot about a lot of stuff that's come true and happened. A very interesting radio broadcaster. Anything yeah, else? Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, no, I just uh, I just want to let you know that that uh, uh, a couple weeks few weeks ago, I heard you mention a couple times uh, that you didn't know. Uh, because they they came in and got him, uh, you know, uh, and used used the used the sheriff department, but but it was it was other people that they got him, and and you said a couple times how how you uh, you don't know why you're allowed to live, and I'm here to tell you right now that I believe that uh, that it's God that that's allowed you to live. And uh, well, they tried to set me up a lot of things. times. They tried to set me up a lot of times and things, but I appreciate your call. You know, in the case of Bill Cooper. Um, he was a really good broadcaster, interesting guy, but he was a super ultra hothead. And there were kids that kept partying on the land next to his, and then he would run them off, and then the police came, and if you read the police report, he shot one of them in the face before they shot him. And I'm not glad that they shot him, I think it's terrible. But I think that's one reason I'm alive, is I'm not, you know. Yeah. I and mean, if kids are making too much noise, I'm gonna go ask them nicely to be quiet a few times, then I'm gonna call the police on them. Uh, I'm not gonna go away firearms at them, but uh, the, you know, that's a side issue, he was under a lot of stress. He was a highly decorated gunboat captain from Vietnam, probably had PTSD, but he was a really smart guy um, and uh, did a great broadcast one time where he gave me the BS or award of the century. I really like that. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. But uh, good, good, good stuff there. Kind of weird, though, trivia. The average listener just, the average Patriot show just talks about all this archaic 
you know, stuff, and there's no real news, but we cover news here. Um, Jesse in Texas, go ahead. Hey, Alex, uh, I hope you feel better, first off, and hope you don't have that, whatever that thing that's been going on here. In well, we'll see. Soon I'll have a cough button back, so I'll have to cough on air. Yeah. Um, first off, uh, I just want to say I think it's more frightening that more, probably most Americans won't even hear that they've been training to basically come against us in our homes and places of business and whatnot. Um, I think that's more frightening that people just don't pay. Well, I mean, this happens all over the world. This is standard. We know exactly what's happening. And we give people all the facts and the documents and everything else, and it's just unbelievable. They're yeah. training for a total paramilitary takeover of the country during an organized collapse. Yep. And I had another uh, thing, too. I tried to send emails to you guys, and it seems that Google blocks my emails. Whenever I send them, it says it's an invalid destination. Yeah, who knows? Wars. We'll have to we'll have to look into that. I appreciate your call. I, I really can't do a little factoid inside baseball you stuff know, here on air because I, I don't know. You know, Alex, if they were training against the Russians, if they had a Russian city, if they had Russian signs all over everything, don't you think that the Russians would understand that they were the target? But the American people doesn't don't understand that they're the target, even when they put it in their face like this. No, you're right. They just keep denying. The military goes, no, it's not for you. <laughs> Even though it's churches and, and, and street signs. and You know, we, we go back and we look at the run-up to Hitler and we say, how could everybody have missed the signs? People don't want to believe that this could happen. And so they push this off and they, they, they it's essentially a double think, like uh, they talked about in 1984. Like Orwell talked about, you can hold these contradicting views at, at the same time. You can suppress what you actually see out there is happening and hold this sunny disposition. This well, exactly. I mean, Obama doesn't have a lot of supporters now, but, but still those that do support him just say, well, he's a winner and you're just mad that, you know, our guy's in. I wasn't for George W. Bush either. Oh, this goes all back a long way. I mean, exactly. I mean, back to look at North and Rex 84 and even beyond that. Look at the I mean, Republican just, leadership. Yeah absolutely working with Obama to get Obamacare passed. Why hasn't Obamacare been repealed? Totally unpopular. Oh, yeah. Well, why haven't they done anything about the NSA? Because this is what the establishment wants. Exactly. Exactly. We're going to uh, go to break and come back in the final segment. And I'm not mad at the callers bringing up, hey, my email bounces, or hey, what do you think of this? It's just that I can't answer stuff like that on air. I mean, it's like, uh, it's just little factoids and stuff. And people also call up on air and they want me to screen their call on air. Hey, I'd like to talk about this. You no, know, you're on air. When we come back, Jay, Wiz, Mark, Justin, and others, we're going to go right to you directly. When we come back out of this uh, break, we're going to see what you'd like to talk about here worldwide uh, coming up, ladies and gentlemen, Infowars.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com in the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. 
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine.